Mr. Trinket. He made it. Yes, he made it. Good morning. So today has been a trial and error day. I am going to sit here and I am going to place you beautiful people somewhere so I can clean the kitchen and talk to y'all and get lunch ready all at the same time. Um, <clears throat> something's in the back of my throat and I'm just wishing it would go away. <clears throat> yes, I am in my pajamas. So, it has been a trial and error. Our printer has decided to no longer connect to the internet. So, I have been trying everything I can to get this printer to connect and do what it's supposed to be doing. So, I can print out cute, adorable, adorable Christmas uh, activities and Christmas like math worksheets and stuff like that and everything. But, no. It's not wanting to cooperate. And I've tried everything. So finally I was like, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and try an ethernet cable. It has the weirdest ethernet cable I have ever seen. So, or connection. So, when Mr. Utopia comes home and when he looks at it, he can tell me, oh, it's this kind, we need to come go get it, or what it is, what tarnation is going on. Hopefully, that works. If that doesn't work, then the only other option I can think to do until we can financially be able to, and that's going up to the library and print that out. It's the only other option I can think of. Um... But it's frustrating. Excuse the turkey. I need to like get rid of it um, and wash it and get it prepped for Christmas. But as you can tell, we didn't say he was looking at that sucker. But today, ooh, it still smells good. It's good. I get chicken. So yeah. A little bit of cork about me. I like, I can literally go for every single day at lunchtime taking my blue corn chips with chicken and uh, mayonnaise and scoop it up and eat it. That's what I can eat every single day. That's one of my weird, weird corks. And you know the funny thing is, is I did this when I was a child. So, a little bit of story time. I seriously remember doing this as a child where I would get hyper fixated on a certain specific food and I would eat it daily almost like a religion religiously no joke okay so one time it was towards the end my mom had the can had the, uh, the cancer went to her brain and everything else like that and it was before she started like going back in time and losing who she was and who I was and everything. So I would ask her every single day, as soon as I came home and through dinner, I wanted macaroni and cheese with hamburger in it. That's what I wanted. I wanted a specific brand. The percentage had to be exact. The amount of seasonings had to be exact. Like I can tell to the point where I love the fact that she did it for me. There was no arguments, no complaints, no nothing. It was, I came home. It was a routine for me and it just, it made me feel so good. So keep in mind, I'm like about 13, 14 years old doing this. Yeah, a little bit of a highlight. Um, actually, give me a second and I can tell you. Oh. Scratch that, I was 15 years old. 15 and I'm doing this. Um, 
a little way out of court situation here. So 15 years old and I remember doing this so much that I felt so proud and so happy about this. I wanted to share it. So I shared it. I told the teachers. I can't remember. Hold on a second. Um, I remember we were talking about like what's your favorite food or something along those lines at school. And then I told them about the story about me loving it and being so happy and da -da -da -da. they called defects they called defects and they say that my mom was forcing me to eat it and that it was her way of neglecting me really come on it should have been a big warning issue here I was happy I loved it I refused to eat anything else she said that, I said that, and then they force her to say you have to eat other things that I, she would have to cook for me. I stopped eating. Finally, she gave in. She was like, look, I'll make it for you again, but we can't tell anybody. I, I stopped eating for weeks. Come on. That's... One of my things, there was like another one about two years ago or a year, yeah, two years ago. I would sit there and every single lunchtime, I would make myself French toast and have eggs over to the side every single day. Never got sick of it. There's another one. How weird are It's like a big old thing. How weird am I? What are you doing, Snucky? You can go look at it. Well, we're not doing crayons right now. Not right now. So yeah, I, I don't understand. I look back at things like that and I'm like, how in the world do they not know? How they not know? Somebody had to know. Somebody. That was cool. I'm still not. People still look at me today and be like, you are just not normal. You're just weird. <laughs> so yesterday was an art day. I thought it was greatly, I, th I thought it would greatly benefit not only just them, but me as well. It just benefited them. So starting with the oldest, he colored, or he painted himself a Christmas tree. It had to be blue. There he goes. Middle one, Mr. Geiger. He did a fantastic job. I absolutely love what he did. I got right now his name and write down the um yesterday's hey, date. Mommy, that what I on it don't end there. That what? Okay, can you give me a minute? Mommy. And then the youngest one did a red snowman. What no red snowman? Yeah, it's a red snowman. And I'm not doing white snowman. Mm-hmm. You didn't want a white one? You wanted a red one? That's perfectly fine, right? I'm not a one. Hmm? You're not a one, you're not a one. Ah. Okay, go give me a minute. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to probably, like, cut and edit a whole lot of this. But... I don't know what I'm cooking for dinner, but I might go ahead and set up the thing, put it over here. So I can start letting y'all have a bird's eye view of what I'm cooking for dinners. But I'll see you guys in just a second, but we're not going anywhere. So fair warning, I'm going to be at home and in comfortable clothes. <laughs> because next week is going to be very busy. Thursday, ooh, I gotta reset that. Thursday is going to be very, very, very busy. Oh my god, it's going to be so busy. It's not going to be funny. I got therapy day. Hopefully, Gary Gary doesn't end up sick again. But yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second.